Yo, what's going on everybody? Chadley here and we actually have a Borderlands 3 video today. We have not made a Borderlands 3 video in quite a while. So today we finally received some fixes and some additional buffs and such into the game for the first time in quite a while. There's been some weapon buffs here and there, but nothing substantial, nothing really worth covering. Uh, but this time around, there's actually quite a bit so I'm really sorry about being gone for about the past two weeks. There really hasn't been much to cover and I haven't decided what I really want to do with the channel at the current moment in time. I was expecting Outriders to be coming out in just about two weeks here, but that got pushed back because that game I'm very excited for. But for right now, Borderlands 3 really doesn't have too much. Cyberpunk doesn't have too much. I will be covering both of those sporadically as we go out through about the next uh, two months or so. And uh, otherwise, we're going to try some other stuff on this channel, see what happens. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy all of the new stuff that's to come. But we will be back. We will be making videos uh, almost every day. We're, we're going to see how that goes. But for right now, we're going to be covering just uh, Borderlands 3, Cyberpunk, and maybe even some Rust stuff. But we will see. So thank you guys for bearing with me. But for today's video, we are going to be looking at Iron Cub. So Iron Cub today... Uh, got a couple fixes, so it's actually now triple dipping in quite a few skills. So right now, Iron Cub is actually triple dipping with Stainless Steel Bear, uh, Scorching RPMs, and then also the action skill damage stuff on like class mods and stuff like that. It is triple dipping in there, and it's a little disgusting how strong Iron Cub is. Now, something to note is this will be getting patched. I have already heard from a developer that they are going to be fixing this. So if you guys are looking to play play around with Cub when it's this strong, make sure you guys jump on today or tomorrow because I don't know when they'll be fixing it, but I know it's pretty high on their priority list at the current moment in time. So for this video, I just want to show off exactly how strong this is. And if you guys are running a specific anointment to boost whatever weapon you're using on cub that's going to help a ton you can also use like 390 all that good stuff all this is going to boost your damage even though that is completely not necessary you're going to be hitting damage cap at least if you're using like rail guns and such almost every single time so if we just go ahead and throw cub out here and see what he does um as you can see we're not really getting damage numbers uh we're hitting damage cap literally like every single shot uh so yeah there's really no point of like boosting your iron bear iron cub damage uh it's going to be one shotting literally everything and i will be showing that off on some of the bosses here later in the video just to show you guys it literally one shots everything it is absolutely ridiculous so yeah like i said this will be getting fixed so if you want to mess around with this type of stuff make sure you go ahead and jump on and do that today or tomorrow I don't know how much longer after that it will last. Unfortunately though, Iron Cub AI is still uh, pretty wonky. It doesn't really work too well, um, but the damage it's doing is just ridiculous. All right, so I just want to show this off on Agonizer and also we're going to be showing off the different weapons because it actually doesn't matter what weapon you use. Obviously the railgun rounds are absolutely insane. The nukes are nuts, but even like the salamanders, do absolutely ridiculous damage so let's go ahead and just drop a corrosive rounds onto agonizer here and just watch his health literally just disappear so we'll throw a cub down and oh, it, it's seriously one shotting everything now unfortunately on this character i do not have the uh dlc for the krieg stuff done so i actually cannot show you guys on psycho reaver and stuff but i promise you it can one shot psycho reaver and sponge boss it really does not matter so just to show you guys that you can use literally any weapon we're just going to kind of go through some of these so up first here is the bear fist on cub so all we got to do is throw him on the ground and then once he actually gets near him tron just disappears we almost hit damage cap right there from just one punch it's it's really really stupid and uh yeah next up is going to be the rocket pods with target softening just to show you guys that even with this huge damage loss on target softening we still just absolutely destroy Tront. so here we go one shot with target softening and all limbs gone and now we're gonna do a cryo minigun kill here because Tront is going to resist the cryo so if we throw that out 
we will uh, just destroy him in about 0.2 seconds. It really does not matter what you are using on Iron Cub. You will destroy every single thing in your path. But yeah, guys, I just want to show off Iron Cub and how ridiculously strong Cub is at the current moment. And like I've said throughout the video, this will be getting patched soon. So if you want to play around with it, definitely jump on as soon as you can and just have some fun. If you guys really need to farm a boss really quick, this is definitely going to be the way to do it. Like I said, any boss in the game is just going to get destroyed and basically one shot. Psycho Reaver, Sponge Boss, does not matter. Also, if you guys were curious about our skill tree, I just threw in some random points here and there. So if you guys want to just take like a little bit of a guide of what I was doing, that's what I was rocking there. And then for my gear, I had a Fire Old God. Uh, a hex with on grenade throw. I wasn't even throwing grenades, so we could get even more damage out of cub. And then I was using a flare. This is not necessary. This is just extra damage for no reason. I would use a flame for getting your iron cub back quicker once it runs out. And then otherwise, I was just running a snowdrift deathless for desperate measures and all that good stuff. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it to let me know. If you guys want to see more Borderlands 3 content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And once again, it was actually really cool to see some fixes today from Gearbox. It's been a long time since we've had anything substantial. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if they can continue doing that because I would love to continue playing this game. I just, there's not much to do. There hasn't been really anything new added, so we're just kind of waiting for DLC 6 at the current moment in time and just for some fixes here and there to make some of these items in the game actually work properly. I was going to cover the Flak Manlet class mod because that actually got fixed today to prevent the pet from spazzing out, but it turns out now that the commandlet has been fixed, the commandlet does not proc. So when you're shooting an enemy, your pet will never do its attack command unless you actually press and hold F and actually trigger the attack command yourself. So that is really unfortunate to see. Hopefully next week we can actually see a true fix for that because that is something I'd actually want to play with. But for right now, really the main thing, the star of the show of this update has been Cub and how bugged out it's been with triple dipping in all these damages. Right now, while YouTube content is light, I've been streaming a bunch over on Twitch. We've been having a good time playing Overwatch with a bunch of Borderlands creators. We've also had a Rust server for Borderlands creators, and it's just been a fantastic time. I've seriously been having the most fun I've had streaming in quite a while playing with everybody. So if you guys do want to come hang out, I definitely encourage it. It's just been a blast. But anyways, I hope you all had a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.